Number 9. T-34 tank Developed during the early stages of World War II, the Soviet T-34-76 tank became well known for its mobility, armor protection, and firepower. It would lose its effectiveness later on in the conflict, but the Nazis were shocked when they first came face to face with it during their invasion of the Soviet Union. In recent years, rumors have circulated online about a young man discovering a T-34 tank with German markings on it in Estonia. According to Snopes, the boy spotted the tank in the country's Matasyarv region in 1944. When he finally shared his memory of it decades later, he recalled seeing tank tracks leading into a local lake, but no tracks coming out of the water, sparking a search in the Kirtna Lake district. In 2000, the missing vehicle was pulled from the water. From February to September of 1944, Intense battles were fought in Estonia's northeastern region. The T-34 that was pulled from Kirtna Lake was most likely captured from the Soviets by the Nazis, which would explain its German markings. While the story seems plausible, it's been covered by limited news sources, making it difficult to verify the authenticity of the claims. Number 8. Duck Dinosaur Sometime between 201 and 145 million years ago, a duck-like dinosaur with more than 480 teeth lived in what is now Germany. Researchers accidentally discovered fossils of the previously unknown creature while examining crocodile bones in the Franconian Jura, a part of the Bavarian region that's famous for its Jurassic-era dinosaur fossils. Experts believe the species dubbed Baleonognathus masseri ate similar prey to modern ducks and flamingos. Many of its hundreds of teeth were hooked. This suggests that it may have waded in shallow lagoons, feeding on small shrimp and other creatures by filtering them through its teeth like a mesh trap but the function of the hooked teeth is admittedly a mystery. The team that discovered the unusual dinosaur concluded that it represents both a new species and genus, and they remain undecided about which group of animals it belongs to. Number seven, a 16th century ship. During the Elizabethan era, which began in the mid-16th century, Britain rapidly expanded its trade with other parts of Europe via its control of the English Channel. It was a key period in seafaring that saw a lot of changes in shipbuilding methods, yet very few vessels from the period have survived into modern times because most have rotted away. So experts were thrilled in 2022 when workers found the remains of a very old wooden ship in a flooded quarry. The discovery was made in Kent, roughly 60 miles south of London, during a dredging of a quarry that sits about a thousand feet from the shore. Archaeologists suspect that the site may have once been part of the coastline and that the ship was abandoned after running aground on some rocks or being deemed unseaworthy. A tree ring analysis revealed that the timber used to build the ship came from trees that were felled between 1558 and 1580. During that time, shipbuilding techniques evolved from overlapping hull planks known as the clinker method to attaching flush hull planks to an internal flame known as Carvel construction. The newly discovered ship reflects the Carvel technique, which ushered in an age of much heavier ships than ever before. It survived thanks to a layer of sediment that protected it from the destructive effects of oxygen. Archaeologists removed what's left of the ship from the quarry so they could gather samples and data and plan to rebury it when they're done so it remains protected from the elements. Number 6. An Ancient Royal Tomb during World War II, Bulgaria sided with Nazi Germany. As Allied air raids on the country and the threat of a Soviet attack increased towards the end of the war, the Bulgarian army built anti-aircraft defenses near the city of Kazanlak. They found a trove of ancient artifacts dating back to when the Kingdom of Thrace ruled over a vast swath of Europe. Included among the discoveries was a necropolis filled with royal tombs and dating back to the late 4th century BC, when a leader named King Suths III was headquartered in what is now Kazanlak. He ruled over Odrysia, the most powerful of the Thracian kingdoms at the time, when the city was called Suthopolis. The necropolis stretches on for about four miles. Many of the burials have been looted throughout history, but still contain an array of well-preserved colorful frescoes. One burial, known as the Thracian Tomb of Kazanlak, contains depictions of battle scenes featuring soldiers in Thracian and Macedonian-style clothing. There's also an image of a couple seated together at a table during a feast, surrounded by servants or bringing them food and playing musical instruments. The bones of a man and a woman found inside the tomb were dated to the early 3rd century BC, 
believe, leading many to believe they belong to Prince Roy Ghost, the son of King Seuss III, and his wife. Experts say it's possible and that the artwork in the burial could provide clues to the identities of the people buried in the tomb. But their interpretations of the images vary, and nobody can say for sure what the connections are between the paintings and the tomb's occupants. Only a portion of the tombs below Kazanlak have been excavated, according to National Geographic, which reported in early 2023 that there are thousands more waiting to be explored. Number 5. Ancient Burial Cave In 2022, a team of construction workers found an ancient burial cave at Palmahim National Park along Israel's Mediterranean coast. They made the unexpected discovery when a mechanical digger broke through the cave's roof. Unlike many archaeological sites, it had remained untouched for thousands of years. The cave was filled with pottery and bronze artifacts, dating back to a time when Pharaoh Ramses II ruled over ancient Egypt. The items included cooking pots, bowls, chalices, jars, lamps, bronze arrowheads, and other objects. They came from different places. Some were locally made, while others came came from elsewhere, including Syria, Lebanon, and Cyprus. According to experts, the artifacts were burial offerings that were intended to accompany the tomb's occupant into the afterlife. The team also found a skeleton at the site. Based on the burial's contents, they speculated that the occupant may have been a warrior or the guard of a ship who collected the items from various places before their death. The Israel Antiquities Authority resealed the caves and are reportedly debating on how to move forward with the discovery. Because of how rare it is to come across an untouched burial from antiquity, they want to proceed cautiously in order to preserve the cave's contents. To prevent looters from disrupting the site, they're maintaining 24-hour security over the site. Number 4. Mysterious Medieval Manuscripts As a history major at Birmingham University in New York State, Zach Ben Ezra took an interest in centuries-old books called Incunabula. Published between 1450 and 1501, they date back to the first half-century of movable-type printing in Europe. While paging through an Incunabula from the university's collection in 2022, Ben Ezra noticed some unidentified medieval manuscripts hidden in the binding. Speaking to Bing Yu News, he speculated that the manuscripts were essentially waste or scrap that were bound into the newer book to give it structural support. Ben Ezra first spotted the handcrafted pieces in the center of the book where the pages meet, known as the gutter. Researchers from the Rochester Institute of Technology took a closer look at the book using multispectral imaging, which which enables them to see features that are invisible to the naked eye. While the jury still seems to be out on the nature of the manuscript's content, Ben Ezra's discovery has been widely praised by experts and students alike. He made the fascinating find as part of an independent study under Assistant Professor of English and Medieval Studies Bridget Weirty. Weirty said that the research has created a strong foundation for future work at the university and by outside researchers and international scholars. Number 3. 18th Century Slave Cemetery Reveals Origins While renovating a performing arts center in Charleston, South Carolina in 2013, workers discovered a previously unknown 18th century cemetery containing 36 burials. As part of an ongoing effort to document black cemeteries, a nonprofit called the Gullah Society and the community worked together to pursue a genetic analysis of the remains. Researchers managed to collect viable DNA samples from 18 of the skeletons, all but one of which had predominantly African ancestry. Twelve of the deceased most likely had ancestors in West or West Central Africa, while five had roots in Sub-Saharan Africa. One person had a mixed ancestry traced to the Americas and West Africa. Thirteen people had high levels of strontium in their teeth, which most likely means that they were born and raised in Africa. And none of the people buried at the cemetery were related, according to a study over the remains. The findings show that people were kidnapped from all over Africa and reflect the long-known tragedy of how families were separated by their captors and buried apart from each other after they died. Very few genetic studies have been carried out on African and African descendant remains in the U.S., and the new research marks a step forward, learning more about the experiences of enslaved people in colonial America. Number 2. A Handbag Frozen in Time 
It's never too late to return something from the lost and found, as one group of contractors in Texas learned while performing renovations at a school outside of Houston in 2021. Beneath the floorboards, they found a small plastic clutch that had some holes in it from being chewed on by a rodent, but was otherwise intact. In it were a handful of family photos, a floral handkerchief and some handwritten personal notes, and a calendar open to April 1959. One of the diary-like notes stated, The next night at the teen club, we started going steady, offering an unusual usually personal glimpse into the dating life of a teenage girl who walked the school's hallways more than 60 years ago. There was also a signed note from a parent giving their daughter permission to ride the school bus home with a friend. The workers turned the purse over to the school district, which held on to it while deciding what to do with it. Working with city officials in 2022, they set out to find the long-lost handbag's owner. Several items were labeled with the name Beverly Williams, and the names of some of her family members were written on the backs of the photos. To their surprise, Surprised they couldn't find a Beverly Williams in any old yearbooks or in school or city records. Their search got a lot easier after they realized that Beverly was the girl's middle name and that her first name was Andrea. An online ancestry database revealed that she passed away in 2015 but is survived by her husband and nine children. Richard Lewis, who heads the League City Historical Society and helped with the search, told CNN that he tried to contact multiple family members but kept getting voicemail and disconnected numbers. So he took the story to the local media and put the word out in hopes that someone would come forward. One of Beverly's children, Deborah Hicks, heard the story and went to see the items with two of her sisters. She said that her mother was an artist who always made time for family and was happy to see that she led what seemed to be a happy childhood with a busy social life. Life. The family allowed the local community center to keep the collection so it can remain on display for other residents to enjoy. 1. Lost Sarcophagi During a construction project at Israel's Ramat Gan Safari Park in 2021, workers came across two very large and visibly old stone coffins covered in sand and vegetation. They alerted experts from the Israel Antiquities Authority, who realized that the sarcophagi had originally been discovered 25 years earlier during a previous construction project. IAA archaeologist Uzi Rothstein told Hertz that the building contractor involved in the initial discovery didn't understand what the coffins were, so he had the crew move them elsewhere and they were forgotten about. During the more recent rediscovery, it appeared as though one of the sarcophagi had been broken and someone had tried to repair it with concrete. Measuring six and a half feet long, the coffins were made from locally sourced limestone outside Tel Aviv. They're thought to date back to roughly 1800 years ago, when Israel was under Roman rule. They're adorned with carvings of flower garlands and discs, which resembles designs that are often seen on Greek and Roman era marble coffins found in Turkey. The symbols are religious and indicate that the burials were not Jewish despite being found near the ancient Jewish city of B'nai Brak. It's unclear whether the coffins have any connection with B'nai Brak or if they were even found anywhere near their original burial site, but they do bear some clues about who they may have belonged to. Because the designs on the sarcophagi are nearly identical, researchers speculate that they may have contained the remains of a husband and wife. Their elaborate markings indicate that they belong to wealthy people of high status. At the time of the discovery, archaeologists had not yet looked inside the coffins to see if they contained any human remains, but they did say that they moved them to an IAA site to conduct further studies. Thanks for watching. Which one of these accidental discoveries surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.